This is my friend Tony King. We worked together at KRMD for quite some time. This is our first ever uh, Arklatex radio reunion and uh, we're having a good time already. And uh, it's a party in the house and we'd love for you to come out. And, and just uh, give, uh, give him your mic and, and we'll talk about uh, Captain King and all the things that he did because he is a former military man, hence the term Captain King, retired uh, U.S. Army. And and uh, and then in radio for how many years, Tony? And uh, I can't remember. I spent a total of uh, 25 years as a broadcaster in Shreveport, Bossier. Yeah. Prior to that, before I retired from the army, I was working part time in the uh, news business at KTOM in Salinas, California, because I was stationed at Fort Ord. So. If you count that time, it's mm -hmm. from 1970-something or other, 75. <laughs> if you said 74, that would make it 40 years. 74, okay, 74. Yeah, right. And and so so all that being said, Tony, what was the thing that uh, you loved most about broadcasting? Well, before I get on to broadcasting, I want to say that you see me in uniform today because today is the Army's 295th birthday. And I'm retired from the Army. I'm a retired Army officer, and I'm very, very proud of that. The, my broadcasting career began after I retired from the Army, and I always considered that a job. I'm first and foremost a retired Army officer. Secondly, I was a broadcaster. Now, what was the question? <laughs> Well, before you go to the question again, you brought up the fact it's the Army's birthday. Yeah. Now, do you know what else this uh, this June the 14th, 2014 is? It is Flag Day. That's Everybody exactly knows that. exactly right, ladies and gentlemen. It is Flag Day. But it was, it was the Army's birthday before it was Flag Day. Okay, okay, you can have that. I, I tell you what, it's hard dealing with broadcasting. Now, the question is something about my broadcasting career. Yeah, what was it that inspired you or and or, or what was it that you enjoyed most about it? I enjoyed, I enjoyed being a, a, a news broadcaster more than anything. I always, uh, ever since I was a little boy, I, I, I won't say he mentored me because he didn't, but he, I, I always wanted to copy him, I always wanted to be like him, and I'm talking about, and now you know the rest of the story. Oh, well, that would be the, the late and the one and only <coughs> Paul Harvey. That's exactly right. Passed on, but yet they have used his broadcast for the farmers uh, on the Super Bowl. Yes. And what a powerful commercial that was, was it not? Yes, it was a tremendous. Oh, it chills when I think about it. Now, and, and I was like five whenever I got bitten by the bug for broadcasting, and my big uh, hero was Walter Cronkite. I mean, Walter Cronkite. And, uh, and Walter, and that's the way it is. Yeah, I remember Walter. Do you remember Walter? Of course. Were you his daddy? <laughs> Maybe no, 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 no. Could, could not have been. All right. So give well, everybody well, your background and in, 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 uh, what you did way back when. Well, I started in 1988 at KNWD in Natchitoches, Louisiana. Graduated from Northwestern State University with a Bachelor of Arts degree in journalism, and then began the task of looking for a commercial broadcast station, which was KTAL FM, and I started in September of 1990. I remember that quite vividly. Mm -hmm. And then uh, from there I went on to work at K-Touch briefly. And then Kenny Gilbert gave me a job at Oldies 92.1 KLKL and uh, loved working for Uncle Kenny until more or less they were bought out uh, and sold. And then I worked over at KBK with Ms. Howard Clark. And then from there went to the Radio Ranch and then did mornings in KMCB and Vivian. And two months later, we got pulled out of that market into WKSY in New Orleans. And the rest, shall we say, is history. Tell everybody your name and where you work and, and uh, what you're doing now. Well, my real name is Claude Davis. Mm -hmm. And uh, during the Vietnam War, I'm telling you how that BB came in there. Uh, I sat uh, on the radio 
Well, if you guys over there get to mess with some of my buddies, I'm going to put me a long playing record on and I'm going to come over and take care of you. So about two or three days later, I got a letter that just said, Bird Brain. So from that point on, when I opened the mic the next time, I said, E T to D, little old me, B B, Bird Brain Davis. And boy, I tell you, it took off from there and been B B or Bird Brain ever since. Now, and uh, where did you start uh, this on the radio, BB? Well, uh, right in Shreveport, uh, I went down one uh, morning. They were taking up money for the KOKA Needy Family Fund, and I called, and they said they would play any records you want if you make a pledge. So I made a pledge of $10, but nobody ever came to get the money. <laughs> so I caught the, the Cedar Grove trolley. I'm showing you how long that's been. Oh my gosh. Now, uh, BB, are you, are you past uh, 60 now? Well, let's see. I'm past 76. Oh, really? I'm 77. I turned 77 this year.